Hello, it's Scott Wittenberg with Synapse Global Corporation, here today with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is how to set up a basic incoming DID using Elastics. A DID is basically a telephone number. In the VoIP world, we call them DIDs. So, as you can see, we're already logged into Elastics. The first thing we're going to do is go up and click on the PBX tab. So here we are at the default screen. Uh, you'll see that we have an extension in here already set up from another tutorial. If you don't know how to set up an extension, you should go and watch our other tutorial on setting up an extension. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go over and click on Trunks. So we'll click on Trunks. We'll see our menu here. Click Add SIP Trunk. Okay, now we want to scroll down. Your DID provider is going to provide you with the information to put in here. Uh, every DID provider's trunk information is going to be different. This is something that they will give you and it should be very easily spelled out for you. This isn't something you should have to try and guess or figure out. Um, you'll just have information and it'll be kind of fill in the blanks here. So for this tutorial we're going to use the Synapse Global DID information. So you'll want to, if you've got your DID from Synapse Global, uh, follow along. Uh, otherwise use the information that your DID provider gives you. So the first thing we need to do is put in our trunk name. So our trunk name for this will be Synapse Global. Typically for the trunk name you'll want to put in the name of the DID provider. Um, that way as time goes on if you start getting a lot of DIDs from different providers uh, it'll be easy for you to come back and make changes later on. So we'll remove this default information and put in the information that Synapse Global has given us. We'll scroll down, we'll remove this default information here, scroll down, we'll click Submit Changes. Screen will reload, you'll see Apply Configuration Changes here, click that. It'll reload. The next screen that we want to go to is Inbound Routes. So click Inbound Routes. Now, the first thing we want to fill out is Description. This is the description of your DID number. So, for example, if this is a California number, maybe we'll call it our California number. Next is the DID number. This is the DID number. So we'll put in um, the number that we've been given. So um, now scroll down. There's a lot of fields here as always and you can just put your mouse over them and see which one does what. Um, for this tutorial though we're just going to scroll down and show you uh, the next step down here which is the destination. This is where you decide where that phone number is going to go, that DID. When somebody calls it, what happens? Um, you can, if you look at these, there's a lot of options here. Uh, for this one we're just going to have it go to our extension. So you just click the little radio button there and if you've got more than one extension you can press the drop down. So we've selected this one. That's it. You go down and press submit then press apply configuration changes here. Now you see your number over here on the right and you're done. You should now be able to pick up the phone, dial your new DID number and your uh, extension 1000 or whatever extension you send it to is not. You're going to want to go and check with your DID provider and confirm that the information that you put in the trunk section is correct. That's it. You've now created an incoming DID number in Elastics. Uh, you can now log out. 